hi my name is Addie and welcome to my channel so today I just want to talk about some things that people don't tell you about pregnancy that you don't really hear of at least in my case this was things that I didn't know could happen until later either later in pregnancy after you have the baby or not at all so the first thing that I have is how bad the heartburn is I didn't know that this was a symptom of being pregnant I thought I was just getting really bad heartburn I've never experienced before in my life, but that was actually the first pregnancy symptom that I had. It was terrible. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't drink. Everything. I just thought, <laughs> literally thought I was dying. <laughs> my throat was on fire. My chest was on fire. It hurt so bad. But then when I talked to other moms about it, they said, yeah, like that was the symptom that I had too. But no one told me that that could be a possible symptom. So I'm sitting here thinking I'm dying because my chest is on fire. And no one told me. So the second thing is you smell. <laughs> no matter how much you shower, no matter how much you clean yourself, you just have this smell. And even now, I I can get that smell sometimes, but I know what it is now. After I've had my son, like I've gotten through pregnancy, birth, postpartum, it is actually your boobs making milk. <laughs> that is the smell that I was smelling my entire pregnancy. That I thought I smelled like it is actually your boob milk that sends off this smell and no one told me that <laughs> it absolutely smells horrendous it is horrible and no one told me that <laughs> it it was it was terrible I thought I just stinked I thought I was gross but no it's completely normal most people go through it at least I did as so most people that I know did my best friend went through it when she was pregnant it's just the thing. The next thing that I want to talk about is the changes to your lady bits. I didn't know how much it changed. <laughs> I thought things would stay the same unless like you have your birth and you end up like tearing open. No, you you change everything. It can it completely changes. Everything hurts. You get weird things going on with it. It's just a lot of changes go on down there and I thought it only happened after you have a baby no it happens the whole time and I wish someone told me that so I wouldn't didn't think I was crazy or gross or disgusting it happens so I just want to inform anyone that's watching this video if you're going through it it's completely normal there's nothing to worry about it just happens the next is how much your skin can change Another like first symptom that I had when I was pregnant was actually I got ex eczema on my arms. I never like suffered from eczema before. My skin was always clear. But then January of last year is when I found out I was pregnant. My whole arm just got covered in eczema. It was the worst thing ever. I didn't know that skin conditions were a side effect or a symptom. Of pregnancy because no one ever told me when I like mentioned it to everyone before we knew I was pregnant they just thought it was the dry weather but even now after I've never had eczema before my arms are terrible again so your skin changes a lot it's nothing to worry about it happens the next is how much your boobs change again I thought this happened after you have a baby with breastfeeding with everything no your boobs start to change right away. Mine just, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't seem the same. Everything's different. Crazy. I wish people tell you that these things happen while you're pregnant and not after because I went into it thinking everything happens after you stay completely the same. That is not the case. You change a lot. The next is your sleep just changes. For the entire, like, the last half of my pregnancy, I'd be waking up at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4, and then 6. I didn't know that this was actually your body getting ready for the baby. When my son came out, came home, got situated, that was actually his sleep schedule. He'd wake up at 12, 2, 4, and 6 in the night to feed. And when I looked back on it in, when I was pregnant, it totally made sense. My body was getting ready getting me used to getting up, like setting me in a groove before I had a baby thrown in on it. I didn't know that was possible, but it is. And honestly, it helped. So I'm glad this thing <laughs> happened. 
even though no one told me it would, I'm glad it did happen. The next is you don't actually need to eat for two. You eat your normal amount, your baby gets lots of nutrition from you. I did this, I ate the normal amount that I eat every time, nothing, and my whole entire pregnancy, and I went overdue by five days, I gained only 15 pounds from just eating what I normally did, and my son was 6'12 when he was born, 6 pounds, 12 ounces. So you don't need to overeat. Overeat is how you completely gain way too much weight. It's, I mean, obviously if you're more hungry, eat. I'm not saying don't eat, but you don't necessarily need to eat for two or what have you. You will be fine eating your normal amount. Your baby will get everything that he needs or she needs from you. They are fine. I wish someone told me that and I didn't have to find it on my own, but I'm telling you, you don't need to eat for two. It is unnecessary. <laughs> The next thing is restless legs are a real thing. My legs were so restless my entire pregnancy. I couldn't like sit still. They just shake the whole time. Even now after I can't lay in a bed with it. My legs are going or they just hurt. It just, I didn't know how bad the restless legs could be. And it's terrible. Even now, four months postpartum. <laughs> the next is how bad your mood swings actually are. I would get so mad over the littlest things. I would get mad if someone breathed the wrong way at me, if they looked the wrong way at me, if my boyfriend would say hi in a different way than he used to, everything. I was so mad the entire time and I didn't know that was possible. I thought you would just get sad. No, you can be extremely mad one minute and extremely sad the next, no matter what. It is crazy. <laughs> But that's, that's all the things that I found out while I was pregnant that no one really talks about. I did find out a few things, but it's not as known as I wish it was. So I hope this helped someone out there realize that it happens and it's not that big of a deal. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to help someone out with this and thank you for watching.